Welcome back guys, your boy Scooby Stack, straight from the NY, the city that don't sleep. I'm doing good, hope you guys are doing great. Today we're starting Hitman episode 3, it's been out for like a day. Before I start that, thanks a lot for supporting my channel, you guys are the greatest. I love you guys for that. So we're going to start this guys, and basically what we're going to do is, we're going to go with suit only. Silent Assassin, no kills. Except for the targets and no knockouts, guys. That's what we're gonna do. So silent assassin, suit only, no kills, except the targets and no knockouts. But before we even start, I wanna plan everything. So let's see what we have. I'm gonna go with this. Oh, do we have I wanna go with the white the white suit, grayish looking white suit. We're gonna need tons of coins for that and fiber out. And we'll start with the beginning. So we are ready. So guys, this mission, um, I was going to do a certain way, but I think I'm going to switch it up on, during the gameplay. And there's not going to be a lot of commentary with this because there's so much talking and so much dialogue going on. But I will talk at times when I need to tell you guys what's going on. So with that said, guys, thank you a lot of support. I love you guys. You guys are the greatest. And let's do this. Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zedan, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Okay, we're all good. So we already set our planning up. So we got the suit, we got the um, silencer, we got coins, and we have everything. We're gonna start from the beginning of the mission. I was gonna do it a certain way, guys, but I'm gonna do it completely different now. I'm gonna go suit only, like I said, silent assassin, no kills but the targets, and no knockouts. So my original wasn't gonna do that, but now I am, so I'm gonna figure out different routes. So you might see me going place to place. And it's not going to be that much talking, guys, because like I said, the dialogue. And there's a lot unless you hear all the conversations. And I'm going to go to certain places and let you hear them talking, too. So let's begin. Let's do this. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown. But the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47.
How's your father? Doing well. Thanks for asking. He's upstairs right now working on this novel of his. Some kind of political thriller, I think. You know, airport lit. Oh, that's nice. So he doesn't miss the old school? Well, he was headmaster for 30 years. He still carries around the master key. You know, the one that fits all the locks? He doesn't seem to be able to park with the damn thing. But that's nostalgia for you. Well, maybe now he'll be a famous writer instead. Right. And <laughs> maybe my carpets are magical. Oh, give your old man some credit, Marwin. He might surprise you yet. Anyway, got to run. See you around. Yep, up, up, and away. of Pakistan, CIA analyst Nick Sparta quits the agency in protest. Three years later, Nick works as a freelance security advisor in Egypt. However, when a dying Interpol agent hands him a badly damaged USB key containing fragments of the mysterious Omega Charter, Nick Sparta is forced back into the deadly world of espionage. A sinister cabal. Say, what?
You're in. Good work, 47. Now to locate General Zaydan. Zayden is even the lead from the front kind of guy, you know? I mean, uh, he graduated from West Point, la di da da Flying colors and all. But has he seen actual combat? Not unless you count in Hesterine. <laughs> you said it. You said it good. He's not gonna become general, as if he took a dump on the flag. Oh, <laughs> you're preaching to the choir, man. That is General Reza Zaydan, Keeper of the Peace. Mr. Orlando, how is our favorite banker? Don't worry. No, but if the Kingsley interview doesn't I mean, whip the mob into a frenzy, I will take more Big direct measures. Chest hair, right? No, don't be ridiculous. Our employers have no mind to reward wow. idiotic behavior. Strandberg was given a position of power. He only had to keep his head down and do whatever the hell he was told. Billion dollar investment for him was not exactly part of the arrangement. No, my men will put Strandberg on a plane to South America, and somewhere along the way, they'll give him the drop. The secret. <laughs> and they say Swedes have no sense of humor. Get down. Move on to Klaus Strandberg.
So what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to wait for him to come back, get next to this wall so we can follow him and sneak past him. This part, guys, too, it's a little tricky. We gotta wait for that guard up there to move away, and we gotta watch out for the one right here so he doesn't see us. So we got him right there, and we gotta wait for this guard up there to walk away. Because if you go up there, he gets stuck in that position, he doesn't move. So we wait right here. When he turns his back, and he should turn around, we're good. And what we're going to do is we're going to go up this pole right here. But you got to be quick because they see you going up too. So be quick. Perfect. He's right there. We're good. So now we're going back the same way we came and we got to sneak past the old man again. So what we have to do is when he's done smoking he's going to walk over here to the wall and when he does walk into the wall guys he goes and sit down, so we have to sneak past him. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change cover. So now we're in a better position. So he walks over here, doesn't see us. So he's gonna lean over there. We can sneak past him right now, but we're not gonna do that because he'll see us. So we just gotta wait. And do exactly what I do. Just like that, guys. And he's not even know where we're there. We're good. Perfect. So now we got to go and get a key card to get into the next area. It's going to be kind of like almost the same what we just did right here guys we got to sneak past a couple of people and this lady to get to it
Let me show you my fine cotton oh. plate. Oh, hurt. oh, thank you so much. You have such a wonderful place. I'm just gonna take a look around. Oh, there's so many great things. Hello, come in. Come in. Be careful. I can see you have an eye for high quality cotton. My bad. How may I help you? Hey, good to see you. I want you guys to hear another conversation. So now what we're going to do is get the security um, key because we're going to a, another area where we need a security key to get in, but we have to take it. So that's where we're going right now. Hey, did you see who's inside? No, who, sister? That girl you went out with last year. Forget. You, you brought her home once or twice. You want to work security at the Swedish consulate? Mala? Yeah, she's head of security, actually. Funny, I thought about her earlier, well, with all the Strandberg protests and stuff. What's she doing here? Huh. I wonder if she was laid off. It wouldn't be the worst timing. I mean, rather out here than in there, right? Amen. You know, maybe I should, uh... <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Last time you just went to say hi, you wound up in Luxembourg. Bought a Ferrari, forgot where you parked it, and then came home 48 hours later with a bag of puzzles and a stupid grin on your face. No, this time, you're spending the and day... And a good day to you, sir. <laughs> Point taken. whole decision. What is he thinking, keeping Strandberg under his protection? Anyway, in case of a security breach, all VIPs rendezvous at the underground garage and take emergency tunnel B to a shop downtown where they'll remain until escort arrives. Any questions? Thank you, Lassie. And stay safe out there, okay? We gotta follow her up here. We're gonna let her go straight. And we're gonna go over here. And we're gonna get this security card. Now the thing is, you gotta worry about the guard, which is coming back. So we gotta come over here real quick. Because he comes up here. But she walks off and goes in the other area. Just gotta wait and be patient.
just tell my father and all the protesters to leave. You made it. Most impressive, 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. Show yourself. Shouldn't be so jumpy. What's, up? What's happening here? Hmm. Okay. You hear that new Jordan Cross tune? I cry for What is going on? Both targets down. I head towards an exit. Guys, that part was so hard because what I had to do is distract them with the other guy standing there. And the guard, security guards are coming at the same time. So there's two security guards coming. So I had to distract them with the, um, all the tools I threw and the coins, kill them, and then pull them in here. So we still got a silent assassin. Only kill the targets. So we just gotta wait for all the security guards to go by. Here comes one coming up the stairs. And we got them two right there. So we're just gonna wait right here. Get our coin out, guys. Just that part was so hard. Okay, almost. Right, let's pick this up just in case we need it. That's why I'm picking up so much stuff, guys.
compromised. But I... I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Comp? But... His plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. People die, Mr. Fannin. Happens all the time, even to us. It seems like a conspiracy. Probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus. Someone knows about us. There was a pattern and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. How much was there? Money. <laughs> the money, Mr. Fannin. Information on all of our assets and operatives. Like you. Dig a trench, Director. And make it a deep one. Because none of you are safe anymore. Guys, we did it. Check it out, guys. Look at the ranking. We got five stars. Ejector completed, 20,000. Never spotted, 20,000. No kills, 20,000. No bodies found, 20,000. No recording, 20,000. And we got a time bonus of 58,000, guys. We got 158 by 23, guys. And plus, we got another 18,000 for mystery, guys. We did it, guys. If you follow that strategy the way I did it, guys, you would get the same thing guys exactly do exactly how i did it took me so long to figure it, like the rural routes and switch a couple things up then like i told you guys i switched a couple things up while i was going along to make it a little easier thanks a lot for support guys please like comment subscribe guys pass this video on your friends and i'll see you guys on some more hitman video peace